you. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on CH Certification Program by Council. Module Network Scanning Section TAR Project and TAR Proxy. We are going to learn about what is TAR, TAR Project, TAR Browser, TAR Proxy, TAR for Android. TAR is an acronym for the Onion Router. TAR is a system intended to enable online anonymity. TAR client software routes internet traffic through worldwide volunteer network of servers in order to conceal users' location or usage from someone conducting network surveillance or traffic analysis. Using TAR makes it more difficult to trace internet activity, including visits to the websites, online projects, instant messages, and other communication forms back to the user. It is intended to protect users' personal freedom, privacy, and ability to conduct confidential business by keeping their internet activities from being monitored. Onion routing refers to the layered nature of encryption service. The original data is encrypted and re-encrypted multiple times, then sent through successive TOR relays, each one of which decrypts a layer of encryption before passing the data on to the next relay and ultimately the destination. This reduces the possibility of the original data being unscrambled or understood in transit. Our client is free software and there are no additional charges to use their network. The TAR browser previously known as TBB, TAR Browser Bundle. This is the flagship product of the TAR project. It consists of a modified Mozilla Firefox ESR web browser, the TAR button, TAR launcher, no script, and HTTPS everywhere, Firefox extensions, and the TAR proxy. Users can run the TAR browser from removable media also. It can operate under Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, or on all Linux flavors. The TAR browser actually starts TAR background processes and routes the traffic through the TAR network. Upon termination of a session, the browser deletes the privacy sensitive data such as HTTP cookies and browsing history. This is TAR browser for Windows download page and you can download a copy and install and start using it. And here are some warnings by the TAR. It's, an, it's a kind of advisory, how to use TAR and uh, how to protect yourself. Once you download a copy, it's around 51 MB file for the 7.0 version. And after the install, it will create a shortcut by clicking on the Start TAR Browser it starts connecting to the TAR network. TAR browser takes a couple of minutes to initialize and get started. When the TAR browser is trying to connect to the TAR network, you may get this kind of errors. Could not connect to the TAR control port. You try once, twice. If it doesn't work, then install TAR browser in a different location and it will work. Otherwise, you can check this assistance link here. These are the TAR network settings. It will ask you whether you are behind a proxy or you would like to connect to the TAR network directly. When you click on this connect to connect directly to the TAR network, it processes and opens up TAR browser. TAR advises to adopt its guidelines and warnings to get most out of the TAR. First thing is your TAR browser to protect your internet traffic. TAR browser comes with pre-configuration to protect your privacy and anonymity on the web. Don't torrent over TAR. TAR. TAR file sharing application ignore proxy settings. It slows down the entire TAR network and affects others also. BitTorrent and TAR do not work together for privacy. Don't enable or install browser plugins. TAR Browser will block browser plugins such as Flash, Real Player, QuickTime, and others. They can be manipulated into revealing your IP address. And TAR advises do not install any additional add-ons or plugins into the TAR Browser, as this may bypass the TAR or otherwise harm your anonymity and privacy. Use HTTPS versions of the websites. TAR will encrypt your traffic to and within the TAR network. But encryption of your traffic to the final destination website depends on that website. To help ensure private encryption to the sites, TAR Browser includes HTTPS everywhere to force 
use of HTTPS encryption with major websites that support it. However, you should still watch the browser URL when you are submitting sensitive information if it's displaying HTTPS or HTTP in the address bar. Do not open documents downloaded through TAR while online. TAR browser will warn you before automatically opening documents that are handled by the external applications. Do not ignore this warning. If you want to access those documents or PDF files, go offline or use VMware or Tails to read them. TAR tries to prevent attackers from learning what destination websites you connect to. However, by default, it doesn't prevent somebody watching your internet traffic from learning that you are using TAR. If this matters to you, you can reduce this risk by configuring TAR to use TAR Bridge Relay rather than connecting directly to the public TAR network. While we learned about the TAR browser usage recommendations by the TAR, the TAR got installed and this browser got open. This is the TAR browser and by default it uses a DuckDuckGo search engine and you can directly enter any address here. It connects to the TAR release and TAR network to reach the destination. TAR uses no script. These are the security settings and when you open a domain like example.com domain, it will ask you whether this is to be allowed or no and it will tell you how the site is reached this is the trace when I did the search it opened in DuckDuckGo search engine by default HTTP is everywhere is enabled and it loads only what is safe for you you can set this security level to whatever you feel like important or relevant to you this is how TAR works Web traffic is encrypted and passed through the TOR network to hide your IP address and provide anonymity. The green color, this is encrypted traffic. This is unencrypted in the last mile. Videlio software is discontinued or caved cross-platform way for controlling TAR that's built on QT. The name comes from the Vidalia Onion since TAR uses Onion routing. TOR is free software and open network that helps you defend against traffic analysis, a form of network surveillance that threatens personal freedom, privacy, confidential business activities, relationships, and state security. The core application distributed for free by the non-profit TOR project is the TOR browser, a hardened security-focused version of Firefox that pushes all your web traffic through the TORs TAR's anonymizing network. The other TAR projects being TAR Messenger. This is an instant messaging program based on InstaBird with TAR and OTR built in and used by default. Like Pidgin and Atium, TAR Messenger supports multiple different instant messaging protocols. The Guardian project is actively developing a free and open source suite of applications and firmware for Android operating system to improve the security of mobile communications. The applications include Chart Secure Instant Messaging Client, Orbot TAR Implementation Proxy for Mobiles, or Fox, the mobile counterpart of the TAR browser, Obscura Cam, Photo and Video App for Privacy. There are several security focused operating systems use TAR extensively hardened from scratch. Incognito, Liberty Linux, Cubes OS, Subgraph, Tails, TAR RAM Disk, and Onyx, etc. The popular TAR projects are TAR Browser, Tails, Atlas, STEM, Orbot, ARM, Pluggable Transports, and Pony, and many others. Tails is a live operating system that you can start on almost any computer from USB stick or DVD. Tails is built upon Debian and is free software. Tails sends its traffic through Tor. It aims at preserving your privacy and anonymity. It uses the state-of-the-art cryptographic tools to encrypt your files 
emails and instant messaging. Tor aims to provide protection for ordinary people who want to follow the law. Maybe criminals could in theory use Tor, but they have other options. And it seems unlikely that taking away Tor from the world will stop them from doing their bad things. At the same time, Tor and other privacy measures can fight identity theft, physical crimes, cyber crimes, etc. Tor will not erase tracks, but tracing back to the user is reduced or rare. Tor is widely used by law enforcement agencies, illegal activities, that is to gain access to the censored information, organized political activities, criminal enterprises and hacktivism groups, help people from cyber spying and annoying advertisers. Thanks for watching. Hello, I am Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Channel.